And welcome, everyone, to the latest anime news for the week ending October 9th, 2022. We don't have any of the fancy stuff today. We're just going to talk through a bunch of anime news this week. Honestly, not a lot happening. Pretty quiet. Um, I think probably the big one would be more Evangelion. Because <laughs> you can't have enough. The official website for the Eva franchise, because they have a they have a website. Uh, not not all <laughs> yeah, it is, do. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> they revealed on Tuesday that the Blu-ray and DVD releases for Eva 3.0 plus 1.11 um, will um, include a bonus video when it ships from Japan titled Evangelion 3.0 minus 46 hours. Oh my god, why? Okay. Now the film ended its theatrical run with a pamphlet that had a manga short entitled Eva 3.0 minus 120 minutes, which was some events that occurred two hours before the previous film occurred. Um, and Studio Kara confirmed on Twitter it is making this bonus video. Wow. So <laughs> who, who said Evangelion's God? Damn, right. <laughs> I, I hope the short is actually like 78 minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Define short. <laughs> like, no, actually, we're just like a whole other thing. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's smart, right? You know, right. A, sell the disc and add something on there that everyone has to see, everyone has yeah. to watch. Um, here's the question like, do you think it's going to be story relevant like will it reveal anything or is it just going to be like a, a a little side story of some random characters i think it's gonna be a side story of some random characters because if you were to actually do something that was significant mm -hmm. then everyone would be just like okay so when's the next movie coming out mm -hmm. you know it's just kind of like no please god no <laughs> we're done please please tell me we're done yeah exactly well what, what i'm also curious about is like who wrote it like, is this an oh, yeah, official yeah. Ano thing? Or is this just like, yeah, we, you know, he, here's something on the cutting room floor. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Ooh, who knows? There's an idea. Um, let's see here. Um, other fun one. Um, Dropkick drop on My Devil also has an official website um, where they announced that they're going to launch a new crowdfunding project to help fund an OVA in the Dropkick on My Devil universe. Mm -hmm. Um they're going to try to crowdfund a fourth season. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. Um, they, ex yeah, it, well, that's the thing. Um, the staff explained to make a, a one core anime, so roughly 12 episodes. The production cost is around 300 million yen. So it's about, two, it's about $2 million US at the moment. Um, the staff explained that they do not have, quote, the power to raise that kind of capital, end quote, which is fair. Right. Um, yeah. Two million dollars, please. Um, so the first goal is to launch a crowdfunding campaign for a new OVA episode. That'll be about two hundred thousand dollars US to produce an episode of that, and then um, every extra two hundred thousand dollars they get will be another episode with plans for screenings and so forth and so on. And then if they raise enough money to produce twelve episodes, they'll be compiled and broadcast as the fourth season of the anime. It's kind of an interesting idea. You kind of crowdfund each episode, get as many as you can, and if you get the full run, then great, we have a TV series. Huh. Interesting. Um, so that is the idea. Um, they did successfully crowdfund... Um, well, they had a crowdfunding crowdfund for season three, um, which was about... Um, let's see here... Um, uh, they got uh, $350,000 U.S. roughly for that campaign. Um, uh, so that was successful. Um, it should be noted, or Anna notes, um, one of the campaign backers pledged 1.1 million yen. So there are some real fans of Drunken Gone with Devil out there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Be impressed. Um, so, yeah, here's hoping that works out. Indeed. And they actually have a website, don't they? Yeah, they have a website. Hey. Hey. Modern modern things. Actually doing the thing. 
I, I told the pretty lady who gives me food that Naruto finally got its official website, and she just looked at me and it was just like, gave me the the PF <laughs> look, and she's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, apparently. <laughs> If you need one, I'm a, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, Crunchyroll announced some licenses for the fall 2022 anime season. Um, Yomushi uh, Pedal Limit Break, More Than a Married Couple But Not Lovers, uh, The Little Lies We All Tell, mm. Kankole Season 2, The Ancient Magic's Bride OAD 3, and All Saints Street, which is a Chinese animated series. Um, all coming out over the next few months on Crunchyroll. So, good news. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't normally cover um, announcements for Seiyu, for voice actors, partly because that's a lot of drip marketing. Um, right. But there's the upcoming uh, TV anime Do It Yourself, um, the show about like makers, basically, and, and building things. Um, and they've uh, announced that the main lead's mother will be played by Kikiko Inoue, um, who played a character you may have heard of called Bell Dandy. Um, I'm somewhat familiar with that. Somewhat familiar. Um, Rune Venus in El Hazard. <laughs> um, you know, um, let's see here. Um, Ina in 8th MS Team. You yeah. know, may, 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 may remember that character. Um, uh, Kasumi Tendo might be familiar to you at some point from one and a half. Perhaps. You know, just perhaps. Just perhaps. perhaps. So pretty major voice talent uh, vo- uh, joining Do It Yourself, which is a, a good thing for anime series like that. Uh, first episode premiered on Wednesday. Um, also, um, season two of To Your Eternity um, has announced that, that yeah. Um, just kick me in. Uh. <laughs> Uh, they, they streamed a promotional video uh, highlighting the the, uh, the theme song from the first series. What's going to be the theme song of the second series? It is by Hikaru Utada. So they are keeping that quality up, which is cool. Yeah. Um, and then um, finally, and this is just a small thing, um, which is kind of worth noting. Um, uh, Laid back camp, the manga is going on hiatus. Um, the manga author has announced they're, they're taking a break, coming back in February. So taking a vacation, that's good. A little vacation, maybe get some camping in, perhaps. Yeah, uh, but apparently nothing, nothing serious. Just you know, taking a break and getting on things, which is good. I, I want to bring this up because I think so much of manga is this constant stream of you got to do a new chapter, got a new chapter, got got to keep it up. And it's nice seeing manga authors say, "Nope, I need a break." Yeah, because there is a direct correlation to overwork and quality of product. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Um, so here's hoping that worked, or that will uh, that will calm them down. Um, that's all I noted of news mm-hmm. for this week. Let me just scroll back through. Um, let's see here. Do 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 do. Uh, Love Live Superstar is getting another season. Shocker. Um, oh, really? I don't know why they would. No. More Love Live? No. No, never. Um, uh, my that doesn't season, do, so I was just going to say that that doesn't do any well. That's that, no, that serious. No. Um, my Hero Academia Season 6 English dub. Coming to six? Country it's Australia. been six seasons already? Six seasons of My Hero Academia. Uh-huh. Um, Good Lord. Uh, the manga for Cardcaptor Sakura Clear Card is ending um, uh, shortly, I think with volume 14. No, that was going on for that long. Um, oh. See here. Doo-doo-doo. Point your streaming, also like Revenger, Ice Blade, Sorcerer, Shining oh, yeah. World, Bobby Goes to the Gods, Season 2, stuff like that. Um, I think that was kind of some new, some extra cast for Chainsaw Man. Um, One Piece film Red opened in India at 172 theaters. Mm. Too good. Um, oh, that's interesting. Um, the staff of the live action sequel for Whisper of the Heart posted a video on Friday where they uh, recreate some scenes from the original Studio Ghibli film. So that's kind of cool. Oh. 
Oh. Um, again, it'll be a different <clears throat> story, but they said, oh, let's go and you know stage a few things. That's kind of cool. Um, be curious to see how, where that goes. And the uh, the poster, one of the posters is um, them on the bike riding across, uh, you know, like, like the end yeah. of the movie. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, so that's nice. Um, oh, there's an uh, um, uh, anime adaptation. Let's see what we got here. Um, Hoshiz, Hoshikuzu Telepath is getting a TV anime uh, from their Twitter account, the word on, 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 on a website. Um, Stardust Telepath, um, other term for it. It's a four coma following a shy girl named Umika. Um, and one day a transfer student named Yu appears. Dun, dun, dun. It turns out the transfer student is, of course, an alien who can read others' feelings. And uh, can only do so though by touching their touching her forehead together. Oh, <laughs> okay. So wow. two cute girls touching foreheads doesn't mean anything and at all. Suddenly, Yuri fanfic just <laughs> went. <Whoop. laughs> yep. <laughs> um, oh, also the Great Cleric um, a manga series is getting an anime adaptation. Uh, let's see here. Um, based on hit light novel series. Um, Salaryman Isekai is to become a healer, basically, is all I can mm. find right about it so far. That's fine. Um, hopefully, that'll be fun. Yeah, exactly. Japan, keeping it classy. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Um, yeah, those are the only, like, remarkable things. Um, they've cast Ataru and Lum's parents for Ursa Yatra. Oh, cool. Um, Toshio Furukawa as Ataru's dad, Keiko Toda as Ataru's mom, Rikia Koyama as Lum's dad, and Fumi Hirano as Lum's mom. Um, I wonder if those are, that's new casting. I wonder how much of the original cast is still around. I'm going to look that up real quick. Um, do 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 do. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's interesting. Ataru's dad is played by Ataru. The original <laughs> voice actor of Ataru. Ataru. <laughs> nice. That's that's great. Um, to be fair, he's also Piccolo. Mm -hmm. And a bunch of other things. Um, the mom is... Um, she's done a bunch of stuff. Which actually, no, no, no. Um, she's done a bunch of stuff. She's actually in wizardry. Um, she, oh, Karala. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. From, from okay. Yeah, uh, that is her. She's also on Pun Man, of all things. Did not expect that. Hmm. Um, um, oh, and she's also Matilda Son. From original Gundam. Matilda Son! That, that's her. Um, oh wow! Uh, was also Kitaro, again the Kitaro in in a like the eighties, right version of that. Cool. Um, and then for Lum's parents, we have. Um, let's see here, um, character from Detective Conan. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Um, Gosh, he's done a ton of things. Um, but just a whole variety of things. And she has done. Oh, she... Lum's mom is Lum. <laughs> of course. Nice. Yes. Nice. Okay. Good. I'm very happy with all that. That all totally makes sense. Wow. Um, yeah. That's all the news for this week. See y'all next week. <laughs>